morning, Matt. Good morning. Are you complaining already? Yes. What are you complaining about? It's hot in here. It's not hot at all. It's hot. It is not it's hot. hot at all. You've never seen hot. I've seen hot. Are you from South Kakalaka? I'm from Georgia. Georgia? Hot Lana. It's not hot at all. It's got to be like 70 degrees, sun shining. It's beautiful out. We're stuck down in a hole. I'm what are we doing today? My nose. We're putting the turbos back on. So we finally got the turbos rebuilt on this 48 foot ocean um, that we had uh, taken apart a couple months ago. Um, so now we've got the turbos back and we have the brand new D'Angelo exhaust that were custom made. AC is going on. So we're gonna um, put everything back together again. We got the right coolant, the Detroit um, Power Cool Plus, which is not the same stuff that was in here. So I didn't realize that, but we're gonna put the right stuff in. But in order to do that, we need to now flush out the entire system because the stuff that was in here was the green stuff, the ethylene glycol, and uh, that's not. So we can't mix the two, so we're gonna have to flush both systems here. Um, and uh, we'll start with that and then start putting the turbos on. And we'll, we'll do a little bit more. Yeah. We also have to remember how we took these things apart. It was a long time ago. I think there's videos for that. Yes, we can reference our videos. God, I hope we did it right. <laughs> anyway, the turbos, we had to split these here. So everything is put together for us. So the only thing that we're gonna have to really do is more than likely just rotate the, uh, the housing right here to accommodate the, uh, the intake. So um, yeah, that should, should be pretty easy. We've already taken off the, um, the gaskets, the old gaskets. We have two new gaskets and I even bought the new gaskets for the oil. So we're gonna clean those up, get those put on. All right. So we had this mounted, we put the whole thing on. I knew, cause I just wanna make sure my back was really, really blown out. But I knew just like when we took it apart before, we couldn't get to that nut right there. So we had to rip the whole thing apart again so we can get to that nut, tighten it down. Then when we put the thing, the housing back on, we can rotate it to accommodate the drain, the oil drain line, as well as the proper rotation up into the intake. So that's what we're going to do now. We're going to sock that down. I think the torque specking on this one is uh, WFT uh, all the way around and then uh, put this back on and uh, yeah, making progress. So good, Matt. I got the studs in on here. They didn't count correctly, so we're missing a stud. So I'm gonna have to use one of the old ones, which is great, but nonetheless, here we are. How's it going, Matt? Uh, it's not. You got your you got your seal in there, right? Good thing I said something. It's alright. That's why we ask. There it is. All right, we're making a lot of progress. <laughs> we're making, I'm making a lot of progress. If you notice, my engine's basically all put back together again. I've got. <laughs> <laughs> you can walk around your engine, you crawl like a monkey on mine. I only have one supply hose left to put on. I'm going to lunch. Matt's going to be here for a while. He's having a, he's on the struggle bus over here. <laughs> but we're getting close so i've got the wet exhaust side all buttoned up uh all new clamps and everything all new um mounts here oil lines are all connected and uh i was just telling matt when i go through and like a bigger project like this where we got a lot of stuff going on um i'll always go through and mark with a sharpie that i've touched um every connection that i know that they're you know set down um, properly went in there too. So, so we're getting really close on this. Like I said, we still need to redrain these things. I'm going to run some fresh water through them and then put in the new Detroit diesel, um, antifreeze in it. So I'm just going to do a quick flush on them. Um, and then we should be ready to go. At least on this side, it's looking good. And Matt's going to catch up real quick. So we're making a lot of progress. Okay. So I got Matt back over on the port side now because he screwed up the starboard side so bad that, uh... <laughs> so what's going on is that this side 
is perfect. We're just about done with this. We actually took this back out again and flipped it and put it over the other side. Because if you see what's going on here, I can't get the wet exhaust in because of that right there. They're sitting literally on top of one another. So, and you can see that the flange is perfectly mated with the back side of the turbo. So I think what D'Angelo has done is they have um, incurred some dyslexia, which means that this should have been on the other side. So I've called D'Angelo, I've sent them over some pictures. They're gonna go to engineering right now and take a look at it and see what um, the deal is down there. But I'm gonna venture to guess that this should not be here. It should be on the other side. So then we can tie in our water discharge line. So it should be right here and tie into there. So there's no way that that's gonna work. Even if it was on this side, I can't, I, I could just get a longer, longer hose and then connect it, but because this is in the way, I can't get the pipe on there or the hose on there. So this is gonna be a complete redo and set us back another few weeks. So not good. Anyway, we're, I'm gonna finish putting the forward half of this together. Um, and then we'll start the, the draining of the coolant and everything else to finish the flushing of it. And uh, we'll have to wait to see what uh, D'Angelo comes back with on that one. All right, well, we got everything uh, cleaned up here and turbos are back on. Everything's done. Um, we just gotta flush the system out, put all the air saps, everything's back on, checked all the clamps and everything. We still need to tighten this right here but uh, on both sides but everything else has been done and checked and like I said I think that the uh, D'Angelo kind of messed up on on this one um, still waiting to hear back from them but this needs to be on the direct opposite side so they just put the the discharge on the wrong side um, but I mean that is there's just no way it's right in the way so not good um, so yeah, so we got that going for us. Everything else is done. Um, all this is back on, so not too bad. Um, half a day's worth of work to get both these back together. Again, we try and work pretty quick so we don't uh, charge our clients too, too much. So anyway, we're gonna flush it and fire this one up anyway. We'll see what happens. I don't know if we'll get to it today. We gotta do some air conditioning work too. So that's a wrap, I think.